everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between the sound pool and the sample, as well as how you can use the sound pool for fun on the Digitact. So let's go to pattern 3 over here. Here I have one sound that's from uh, that comes from the factory presets actually, and it's called uh, something like, uh, let's see what it's called actually, it's called slower, okay? So that's the sample. And you can load 128 different samples to the machine but you can also change them so you change the parameters on them to make them sound like something completely different so this one is using the same sample but it's storing different settings on it so for example panning goes from right to left or left to right it does some small changes on the tune like that but it makes it a lot smaller there and panning goes back and forward so that's pretty cool that you actually can store those changes and the way you save them you can look at the video over here or here somewhere uh, but how do you load them the, up into the machine then well then you pre press function and the three dashes over here the import export and then you go down to manage sound you would think that you could go to import sound but import sound actually you just imports it to this track but if you want to use it in the sound pool for a example if you want to change a sound on each step like you do on the other devices then you need to go down to manage sound over here and here you can pre uh, preview the sounds by pressing function and yes so there we have a hi-hat oh that's it. that's a nice sound so if i check this one if i press yes that is then you get the check mark over here and then you can go into copy to sound pool now that is stored in the sound pool on this pattern on track one we actually have different sounds happening on all of these steps and all of these comes from the sound pool and are different changes so if i hold down one of these you're going to see the sound whichever i have over here and if i press this one and then i then i can see here we have the sign dong that we just loaded up right so a fun thing we can actually do with this one is uh, since we have the trig conditionals on how we can play so if i change the probability down to zero here i still hear some sounds so we can use the trigs just to set them to 100 so that's a bonus tip so you can still have the rhythm and then you can have some add more probability but okay so here we have this sound that's nice over here on this sound we have just a sing simple drum beat like this and we can actually store the different parts of a drum beat into a sound and i've done that on the other pattern so let's go over here this pattern i have three sounds and that's oh that's very light you almost don't hear it but it's some sort of hi-hat and this is a snare and then a kick and all of these uses the same sample but it's using but different parts and different settings over here cool so that So that was the thing you heard in the beginning so that's fairly cool and if we go to pattern six over here i have something that uses the same sample on all the different sounds but they sound a bit differently so here it's still the same sound like i talked about before it's the slower sound from the factory packs the factory uh, banks this one is some sort of uh, bass a tick tick, a kick, some other bleeps, some other tick ticks, and then some sort of other tune. So that means that you can use the same sample with different sound. I have a completely new project over here with all the basic sounds. So I want to load in some stuff into it. So I go to function, import, export, manage sounds. And then I go down to the sounds that I actually made myself. Uh, they exist somewhere over here. They are called slower. Here they are. Okay, so let's uh, let's make all of these ones. So these were the, all the sounds that were made from the same sample. And then I copy them to the sound pool. Okay, so now if I go into this one, function and then scroll on this one then i can pick all these uh, things i picked so let's pick uh, the base over there and then on, on this one i pick the snare and, and on this one i pick the beep so now i will load them 
they all use the same sample. So if we go in again to the cogwheel system and storage over here, then you see I'm still using just 1% ROM. So I just loaded one more sample. So that's pretty cool. You can actually see it if you go into samples and then you press uh, left and go into view ROM. Here you also see the samples that have, have been loaded. If you want to change the default samples, I have a video for that one as well. It's over here somewhere. Great. So now we know how to actually load in sounds to the sound pool and how we can then use them for each step. So each step can have a different sample, it can have a different sound, it can have completely different parameters, probability and all that stuff as well. Cool. If you have any questions, any ideas on new videos that I could make or anything that is, oh, I don't understand this part of the DigiTact, please fill out in the con comments, <laughs> in the comments below. Uh, subscribe and like to the video and all that jazz. See you in the next video.